Welcome to Second 60 of 120 Minutes, and thank you for staying up later, sending your VCRs. It's not in my control that it's on later this week. I'm not happy about it, but I'm glad to be here. In this hour, the guys from Ben Folds 5 will be stopping by. We'll have new ones from Propeller Heads. Louis says, and at the end of the show, we'll take a look at a classic performance from the Sex Pistols. But right now, it's the latest video from Space Hog. The guitarist Anthony Langdon makes a small cameo appearance in the upcoming film Velvet Goldmine, which was an old David Bowie B-side, a great song by Bowie. And uh, that's, the, of course, the movie produced by Michael Stipe's company Single Cell, supposedly loosely based on the early relationship of David Bowie and Iggy Pop. Anyway, this first video from the band's forthcoming CD titled The Chinese Album. The album Decks wow. and Drums and Rock say. and Roll. That was propeller heads with history repeating. That album should be hitting stores, I guess sometimes in late March. Kind of a plan the Ian Dury, Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll, right? Something like that. Anyway, I'm here with Ben, Robert, and Darren from Ben Folds 5. It's good to have you back. Good Thanks, man. You know, and, and it's been an exciting year or so for you. I mean, a lot of good stuff has been going on. The latest album is Whatever and Ever, Amen. And, you know, we're going to show the video from the Battle of Who Could Care Less, which you did with Norwood Cheek, who's your friend from Chapel Hill, right? Mm -hmm. i got to ask you, and I know, I think we've talked about it once before. I don't know if it was on camera or off, but I love the line about looking at the person's old ID mm -hmm. and being dressed up like the cure. Now, how many people do you, do you know like that from your past? Is there some old girlfriends or, or male friends or... Lots of really cool, stylish people. If you saw their old ID, they may look like The Cure. They could look like uh, the, guy, the guy from uh, Wang Chung, maybe. <laughs> Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Do you yeah. remember Nasty Habits from Motley Crue? Rocker Tommy Lee's sort of side singing group? Yeah. There's a lot of girls who look like the Nasty Habits background singers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see those old Leonard Skinner documentaries, you see uh, some of their side singers with special <laughs> folks too. The thing going on. I got a question, but it's a, but it's a great one. Battle of Who Could Care Less. I want to let's check it out right now. Love that video and, it, and the song, of course, even more importantly. From whatever and ever, Amen. Here's Ben Folds Five. Battle of Who Could Care Less in 120 minutes. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. I'm here right now with, of course, the Chapel Hill Trio, Ben Folds Five. Of course, people know that by now. We've had you on the show before. Well, once again, we were mentioning The Cure before. This isn't an insult to The Cure. We're just talking about the way people look, because we're talking about the fact that Robert, he still looks that way. He's a great guy. I was on South Park recently, and of course, he's been on the show a couple times since I started hosting it. And he'll look like that again in five years when it gets in vogue again, or maybe even next year. He'll always look like that, and then he'll be the king yeah. when it comes back. Absolutely. He's, he's an excellent guy. A great couple band. years. Now, Brick has become a huge hit for the band, which I'm really happy to see. Um, now, that sounds a really personal song for you, actually. Ben, when you say it's self-explanatory, that's something you went through, um, was that in like high school years? Yeah. I mean, how do you feel about talking about that? <clears throat> I think a lot of people bring it on. Well, I mean, that was that. <laughs> I mean, basically, it's about you know, a, you know, a, a kind of like a teen pregnancy or relationship. Yeah. Kind of where you're mentally, not, you know, not prepared necessarily. I don't have the love for somebody. And this kind of thing goes on. And yeah. Well, it's a, it's a scary thing, probably at any age, but high school, 16 years old. But it happens a lot, you know. Yes. It's just people don't talk about it that much, you know. So. Right. Do you think people find it like sort of like self-explanatory that they get it when they hear the lyrics? Do you find people coming up to you and saying, you know, this is something that I've been through? And, or do you find that they find other different emotions in it? Kind of? Well, a lot of people um, get different things out of the song, which is kind of what we wanted. Right. Um, and then some people uh, know exactly what you're talking about, you know. But not many people will say if they've gone through that or not. I think you'll find women will say a little more than men. But most of the time you don't really know who went through that, but... I mean, uh, you can, if you kind of know the numbers, you know that, you know, kind of look to your left and look to your right, one of these people happened to. Right, right, exactly. It's just not talked about very much. It's really taboo. I was a little spooked about it being in the song, but after it got out there and we got warmed up to it, it's, it's okay. I think we've treated it, hopefully, in a way that's not, you know, right. it's not overtly like this is the song that we're all wearing, like, you know, Frankie goes to Hollywood looking T-shirts that say "Don't do it." So. Right, exactly. I mean, it's just you know, it's 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 not a respectful way. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's and it's something a lot of people experience, like you said. It's true. Right now, let's check out your latest video from whatever and ever I'm in. This is the song we're talking about. It's Brick. The album "Gravity, Suffering, Love, and Fate" 
It hits stores on April 28th. That was Louis Says with the 120 minutes debut of Cold to the Touch. I'm Matt Pitfield here with my special guest, Ben Folds Five. Now, you know, I've, I've followed the band for a long time and, you know, seen you guys play at, you know, Maxwell's in Hoboken and Mercury Lounge, seen you do a lot of great shows. And, um, it's, I mean, things have really grown. You've been touring almost nonstop for the last two years, really. And you've played, you know, and then moving on to play pictures that are bigger, like Hammerstein, Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City. How is that? Do you find it's, it's easy to, to make that translation now to play in bigger places? Yeah. How's, how's that been for you? Um, I think we always wanted to bring like the, the older fans with us, you know, in yeah. a way and not just fill it up with a big sort of radio crowd, you know, people who just know really that one song and, you know, I still think it's, it's not really over the top yet in like Dodger Stadium, but sometimes it feels that way, <laughs> you know. Is it comfortable in that situation? Or yeah. do you kind of not worry about it and just get into it's the not, show? It's not too bad because there's people that come out to see your music. It's harder when it's like a festival crowd where you're going out and playing for, you know, 30,000 people that are there to see, I don't know, whoever is yeah. the, the, uh, the huge headliner. And you have to deal with that. That's harder. But this is just like, you know, we're playing places, not a huge, where they're, they're just bigger than what we have been, but it seems like the same people. You know, it's like putting a bunch of mirrors up around and there's just more people. <laughs> and I never noticed anyone past the first... You know, ten rows anyway. I can't see very well, so right. uh, it's just a blur. It's know, not that you don't care that they're there; it's just you can't see. Yeah, you can't. It kind of like gets darker. And the lights, you know, you, you don't you don't see it, so it's it's not too bad. Yeah. Now, how long has the set uh, been? Has it gotten uh, longer recently? Uh, four uh, four hours. Yeah. 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 Are you doing the four hour? With, are you doing a half hour break in between? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. We used to do that. a little pick yeah. me up at. at the 45 minute mark for me. <laughs> of course, well that's a good thing. Yeah. Anyway, we talk more Ben Folds 5 after the break. And we'll also have the latest from Fret Blanket from Stalbridge, England. Keep it right here. Hi, I'm, I'm John from Goldfinger and my favorite record of all time has to be Pleased to Meet Me by The Replacements. My favorite album is uh, Look What the Cat Dragged In by Poison. Uh, Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. My favorite record is The Queen Is Dead by The Smiths. Little Uncle Walter right there. Welcome back to 120 Minutes. We said we are going to do a Jerry Springer thing. <laughs> in a little while. I'm here with the guys from Ben Folds 5. And, uh, you were pimping the whole time? Yes. yes. <laughs> I cheated on you with four other family members. Now you know. Uh, you know how the whole thing goes. It's crazy. Yeah, Jerry Springer show. Whatever, you know. I think I dissed him one time on TV pretty harsh for doing that You Can Live Your Dream and he was doing his rap thing. It was a little hard to take, you know. Jerry was rapping? Jerry was rapping, man, and like trying to get the crowd into it. I had all the like, applause and clap signs on. How else would they get people to clap? Yeah, anyway, his, um, his first record was pretty intense. <laughs> yeah, it was. It really yeah. was. The one where you wore two pairs of glasses on the cover? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're kidding. I'm white, I'm white, and I'm white, y'all. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Now, Naked Baby Photos, Caroline recently put out, uh, which is your first label, which is, uh, how did you feel about that? Was that cool with you, obviously? Uh, it's like unreleased stuff. It's some B-sides, live material. Were you involved in the cut? compiling of that yeah, yeah we little. were there wasn't uh, there wasn't tons of material to really choose from for that I mean we had recorded the shows uh, generally just a cassette or two at that so it was kind of hard to pick a lot of stuff but um, there were some fun things on there the Tokyo stuff and there's uh, something from us uh, Amsterdam, that was a show we did there. So, I think it's cool that you guys have always had to play, played around with some fun things when you play live. Like you've done Champagne Supernova. How about Hava Nagila doing that in Berlin? Right. <laughs> it was great. There's some funny, just great stuff, and that's that's on the fanny packs, and of course, you know. Yeah. You know, tell me a bit about that. That's it's no, it's kind of cool to put stuff on a record um, that probably shouldn't be on a record in a way. It's just just <laughs> fun, you know. I mean, it's part of the, what the band does that people see live that you don't really know about if you just have the album. So from that you know, angle, it's kind of cool. Uh, we were a little self-conscious about it being out a little early. It's kind of like, you know, this retrospective album of a band that's been around for four years. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Remember the glory years last year. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> it's a little, little weird, but that's okay. I mean, it's fine. I think the, the fans appreciate it. People know, that right? are big fans so that's of it. People who don't know think that it's our new album. That's yeah. that's what's kind of making this a little... So I want to make people realize that that's basically a compilation record. And whatever and every minute is still the latest album. Yeah. And again, we should mention how great, if you have the Japanese import, you do Song of the Dumped, sung in Japanese. Yeah. Which yeah. is such a great song anyway. It was in the Mr. Wrong soundtrack. It was the best song on the soundtrack and definitely better than the film. <laughs> All right. Anyway, well, no, I wasn't dissing it. You know, I was good in it, but you know what I mean. The song has a special place. I want to thank you guys for coming by. Thanks, are you going to stay on the road for a while, just real quick? Or are you going to be touring for a uh, bit now? Got a couple more weeks now, yeah. and then take a little break. We start working on music for the next record. Great. And do that back home. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. It's good to spend a couple of minutes in Chapel Hill again, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah that's, kind of, that's good. Anyway, let everybody know, of course, I want to tell you that you should check out Ben's latest album and the band's Ben Fields Five, even though there are three, of course. Whatever and Every Man, excellent record as well as our self titled debut. And don't confuse the new compilation live performances and previously released material, naked baby photos, but uh, it's worth picking up as well. All right, right now we have the latest from Fret Blanket. They're from Stourridge, Birmingham. I'm sorry, Stourbridge. I'm getting all caught up in my words today. That's okay. We're not even going to burn it. We're going to keep going. Anyway, the album's called uh, Home Truths from Abroad. Thanks. Appreciate the comforting. Into the ocean. Guys, thanks for coming by again. No sure. Good to have you. Thanks for having me.